Hello everyone and welcome back to J1 Aviation. Today we're talking about runways, displaced thresholds, and overrun areas. So runway numbers are determined by magnetic heading. They are rounded to the nearest tenth of magnetic heading. Example, a runway facing 241 degrees would be runway 24. Now let's look at this diagram from the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge when we talk about displaced thresholds. On the right side, you can see the runway numbers 36, and before that is a grouping of white bars called threshold markers. These indicate the beginning of the runway. Now prior to those bars, you have a series of arrows pointing to the end of the runway. This is the displaced threshold. Aircraft can taxi and begin the takeoff run in this area, but should not touch down and land on this part of the runway. A blast pad or overrun area has yellow chevron markings. Planes should not use this area as part of the normal operations. Only as an emergency overrun should those be used as the concrete is designed to give way and bring an aircraft to a stop. So with that introduction in mind, let's look at some potential private pilot questions. Okay, question number one. The numbers eight and two six on the approach ends of the runway indicate that the runway is oriented approximately A, 008 and 026 true, B, 080 and 260 true, or C, 080 and 260 magnetic. Okay, so the answer is C, 080 and 260 magnetic. Both A and B are incorrect because they say the degrees are in true. Also, A is incorrect because the runway numbers are rounded to the nearest tens. Okay, question number two. According to the airport diagram, which statement is true? A, position E on runway 30 is available for landing. B, takeoffs may be started at position A on runway 12 and the landing portion of this runway begins at position B. Or C, the takeoff and landing portion of runway 12 begins at position B. Okay, the answer is B. Takeoffs may be started at position A on runway 12, and the landing portion of this runway begins at position B. So A is identified as a displaced threshold. It may be used for takeoffs on runway 12, however, the landing portion of runway 12 begins at point B. The chevrons in point E are not usable for takeoff, landing, or taxi. C is incorrect because the takeoff portion for runway 12 begins at A, not B. Okay, question number three, and this is the last question for today. What is the difference between area A and area E on the airport depicted? Answer A. A may be used for taxi and takeoff. E may only be used as an overrun. Or B, A may be used for all operations except heavy aircraft landings. E may be used only as an overrun. Or C, A may be used for taxiing. E may be used for all operations except landings. Okay, the answer is A. A may be used for taxi and takeoff. E may be used only as an overrun. So B and C are incorrect because displaced thresholds cannot be used for landing and area E can only be used as an overrun. So thanks everyone for riding along today. We hope you will join us on a future flight and thanks for flying J1 Aviation.